Copps Hill Burial Ground is a cemetery that was founded in February 20th, 1659. It was named after Will Copp, who was a 17th century shoemaker who owned the land. It is the second largest and second oldest burial ground in Boston. It is up to about 3.5 acres large and has more than 1,200 marked graves and 272 tombs. It was part of the Freedom Trail. When the first English settlers arrived in Boston in the 1630s, they decided to build a windmill on top of Copp's Hill to grind grain. They named the hill Windmill Hill. Later on, Will Copp, who was the owner of the land, gave it to John Baker and Daniel Turrell, who gave it to the town to start the Copps Hill Burial Ground. By January 7, 1708, they needed to get more land to fit more graves. So, so they bought additional land from Judge Samuel Sewell and his wife, Hannah. At December 18, 1809, they bought more additional land from Jonathan Mary. That is how Copps Hill Burial Ground was made. Copps Hill was used in the Battle of Bunker Hill on June 17, 1775. The British placed cannons on top of Copps Hill to attack Breed's Hill. Copps Hill was also used in the Revolutionary War. The British used Copps Hill as a military station. For target practice, they shot bullets into the graves. You can still see the bullet holes and marks on the graves today. The one grave that was shot the most was the gravestone that belonged to Daniel Malcolm, who was a merchant. On his grave, it said, a true son of liberty, a friend of the, to the public, an enemy to oppression, and one of the foremost in opposing the revenue acts on America. He was remembered for smuggling 60 casks of wine into port without paying, without paying the duty. He has to be buried 10 feet deep to be away from harm by the British. There were a lot more graves that were shot many times by the British. Copps Hill has many graves of people that, are buried, that were buried here, like Robert Newman, who was the patriot who placed the signal lanterns in Old North Church for Paul Revere when he rode to Lexington and Concord. Captain Daniel Malcolm, who was a member of the Sons of Liberty. George Worthy Lake, who was the first keeper of the Boston Lights, Prince Hall, who was the leader of Boston's early free black community, and many more. Although Copps Hill is the third highest hill in Boston after Beacon Hill and Fort Hill, you, you can still see a great view of many famous landmarks. Some of the landmarks are the Old North Church, the Leonard P. Zakem Bunker Hill Memorial Bridge, and the and the TD Garden. I'm done. All right, there he is.